Welcome back to Dong War Recapped. In today's video I will be recapping my journey to another world. It begins as we see a typhoon wreaking havoc in a city. And then the news on the TV says that more than 500 people have been killed. Stupidly. Xiaofan goes out in the midst of it and tries to vlog the events, before continuing to wander through it and encountering a portal that opens up in front of him. A spiritual beast emerges and strikes him. And then he is sucked into the portal after swallowing the mixed energy bead. He wakes up in a strange place with a completely different hairstyle, asking where he is and finding out that he is in Muyun City in a completely different year. The spiritual beast appears again and demands him to give him back the mixed energy bead, and is confused as to how he was able to withstand the power of the bead. He suddenly receives information that is transmitted to his brain about who he is and what his skill level is. He says that he can't remain an important person in his family, since heroes in novels end up having something bad happen when they make great contributions to their families. In his family's temple he tells them that he doesn't want to be the frontman of the family anymore, and they're outraged about this since they need him to be able to sell pancakes. One of the girls is ecstatic about this since she thinks she'll get all of his attention, and Sian asks him what is wrong. Master Tian says that there is no one more qualified to be the frontman than Xiaofan, and suggests that he takes a few days off. One of the other members say that Xiaofan needs to be well rested for Spirit Activation Day in a few days, and then the girls question why Xiaofan is granted days off. They talk about how without Xiaofan as the frontman, the business will suffer big losses as a result. Master Tian questions who granted Xiaofan permission to take part in the spirit activation ceremony, and they all say that he is too weak and inexperienced to be able to rise up to the occasion, but Elder Xian stands up for him and says that he isn't a kid anymore, as well as mentioning the agreement they have with the Bai family but they scoff at this, and say that the Bai family are too rich for them to even compete with. The master says that they should get Ruyin to train Xiaofan, and as Xiaofan leaves he wonders what the spirit activation ceremony is. He is laying down with his pet and asks if he will have to rely on his good looks forever before Ruyin appears, and his arrogance persists since he thinks she is just another woman attracted to him. She thinks about how he is usually very happy to see her, and how he seems like a different person to normal. She starts glowing with spiritual power so he begs her to not hurt him and to leave him alone, and she tells him to come to her room later on, and his response aggravates her to slap him around the face, and the power of the slap sends him flying. She says that she was sent to train him, and she is stubborn, saying that she doesn't want him to come to his room and instead takes him to the power gathering room. As they walk, she thinks about how he is normally a lot more aggressive and proud, she says that the spirit gathering room is the best place for cultivating, and he spots some other people in the Chen family who are cultivating at a high level together. Along with them is a guy who is drinking and eating food, and as he goes to eat more, he is disturbed by Ruyin who asks him to move so he acts smart but this gets him slapped, also sending him flying. His name is Luo and he is also a member of the Chen family. Xiaofan is stunned by how violent she is and she tells him to calm his heart in order to feel the spiritual power. He sits down and follows the instructions, beginning to cultivate and she is impressed by how quickly he is able to enter an advanced level of meditation. He enters a strange world where he sees his pet which distracts him, causing her to scold him for getting distracted so he says that he felt the spiritual energy. The others overhear this and talk among themselves saying that it's impossible since it's been established that he lacks the talent. Ruyin tells him that if he felt the energy then he should try to communicate with it, so he instantly starts cultivating again, shocking her again. His ability to enter the state of meditation so quickly is outstanding as he communicates with the spots of light, even being able to absorb the spiritual energy. The other cultivators take notice once again saying that even Ruyin wasn't able to absorb the energy. The spiritual beast isn't surprised by this however, because the mixed energy bead is so powerful that absorbing spiritual energy is a simple task to complete. She worries for him because he absorbed so much energy without cultivating, fearing that his body won't be able to withstand it, but he proves her wrong once again as he is able to deal with it. 
Luo goes to get his wine and she tells him to stop, accusing him of a trading as cultivating resources for food and wine again. The epic moment continues as Xiaofan's body is able to take all of the spiritual energy, and even the spiritual beast starts to become surprised about how much he is able to absorb, saying that he would be dead without the mixed energy bead. The cultivating starts to grow more and more vigorous, and she tells him not to rush it, and he comes to a halt. She asks him if he is in any pain, and he says that he only felt a little bit numb. She says that to most people this would be a very painful process, however he is actually strengthening his body rather than causing pain, and he rushes back to do even more cultivating. She reminds him again to not rush things, and says that he should take a rest before going to the elders to get some elixirs, but Luo stops her and calls her his mum which makes her throw a bottle at him in outrage, sending him flying. They all take notice of this once again. And Xiaofan asks him if he is okay as Luo says that he is invincible. And then Xiaofan says that it seemed like he was being bullied. He responds by saying that even though he is the second most talented in the family, he is still a level lower than Ruyin so he can't do anything to stop her. Xiaofan is shocked that he is the second most talented, and he tells him that he gave up one of the two spots in the Shuyuan sect which is the most powerful sect. He explains why he didn't join. And Xiaofan says that he didn't give up and that it was the sect's fault for not choosing him. Xiaofan says that he has never cultivated before but he says he isn't fooled, and that he must have just been pretending to cultivate. He doesn't take any notice of this though and begins to cultivate again, and he takes the opportunity whilst no one is looking to try and drink more wine. However the elders walk in and ask what he is doing so he makes up a bad excuse and asks for forgiveness. And they say that despite his talent he is too lazy to actually reach his level. And then they take notice of Xiaofan's ability to strengthen his body with spiritual energy. Ruyin explains to them that he has been able to cultivate like this for the past two hours. And they question if she is telling the truth but it is proven beyond doubt as more time passes and he is still able to cultivate at a high level. They leave and tell Ruyin to bring him to the ancestral hall in three days for the ceremony. But that's where this video ends. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.